To address the UK's shortfall of future engineers, we're looking at ways to attract the next generation into engineering. But aren't we missing something here? Maybe the solution is closer than we think. Engineering is all around us. As adults, we take it for granted. And as for children, do they even know it's there? Every day, children are surrounded by and dependent on the products of an engineer's talent. But understandably, they're not necessarily going to appreciate it or even realise engineering could be a career choice. But the Institution of Engineering and Technology is hoping to change all that. Yasmin Ali is a young engineer passionate about encouraging kids. Engineering is in everything that you do. So it's in your pencils, in your paper, in your pens at school, in the clothes that, the, that you wear, in however you get to school, in a car or in a bus or whatever. Also in the technology that you use, so phones, iPads. And that includes something we all do every day, travel. Here in London, engineering is vital in keeping the city moving underground. And someone who's responsible for this is Hayley Oakhill. I'll go on track and I'll either inspect it, see if there's anything wrong with it, or I will go out and fix the track. So if there is in fact anything wrong with it, I'll go out and I'll fix it. One short tube journey may be a little bit of fun for the kids, but so much magic is happening behind the scenes. When you get on the train, you've sat down and wait for the door to close. The driver will look out, I think it's to his right-hand side or his left-hand side, whatever side the platform's on, and there'll be a little mirror. So if you go down the end of the platform, you can see the little mirrors, and that's how that they know uh, when to shut the doors. This is all impressive stuff, but how do we get the kids to take notice? I think we can help them to learn more about it, so they can go out and visit museums and just talking to engineers and finding out about their jobs uh, is a really good way of uh, kind of learning more about it. If you're replacing a screw one day and you're doing exactly the same thing the next day, you can find another problem and it will just be different. Like it, The tools break down so you've got to find another way to put it in. Nothing is the same two days in a row. It is different every single day. Even if you do the same job three days in a row, it will be different each time. They don't realise it yet, but they're already engineers, so they, they are doing that stuff already. And even if you're baking, that's a form of engineering, in my opinion. That's taking a load of ingredients, mixing them together, adding some heat and making something else. So yeah, they are, they're already doing it and they just need to realise that that is engineering. <laughs>